Hey everyone, it's the Viperian here and welcome back to another Crash Team Racing video. Another day, another William P track. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to beat the death times in Hot Air Skyway. This video is requested by Joshua G, so thank you for that. I hope that this guide will help you and many others who are having trouble with it. And as always, the comment of the day from my previous Oxide Station guide goes to Crash Bandicutiness. I hope that you will be able to beat the death times in the near future. And again, congratulations for getting the comment of the day. Also, for those of you who are watching right now, why not join my Discord server if you haven't already? You can ask questions there, post fun stuff, and have fun with others as a community and so much more. Link will be in the description down below. Alright, back to the guide for Hot Air Skyway. Here are a few things you need to know first. Firstly, I am using speed for this one. You can actually win the death times with drift as well as acceleration, but just know that it will get much more harder as you choose a slower driving style. Oh, and also, this guy's racing lines will be based on my experience on using the speed driving style, so do keep in mind for that. Secondly, the only way you can win the death times here is by maintaining your blue fire for the entire track. And I have to admit that Hot Air Skyway is a pretty tough track when it comes to maintaining blue fire. Especially if you don't know what you're doing at a certain part of the track and in this guide I will show you exactly how to do it in that part. And finally, mastering U-turning of course is a definite must. You can learn how to U-turn by clicking on the video here on the top right if you are still having trouble with it. Now we have that out of the way, let's hop onto the track right now and begin the guide. And hey, why not support by subscribing to the channel by clicking on the big red button down below. Again, I would like to remind you that this will be based on the speed engine. Start off with a perfect boost as always and then start drift boosting 3 times to the left side here. Once you reach to the first bump, I would always advise you to start drifting to the right side about 3 times as well. And then proceed to drift boost to the left side once more 3 times. And now the spiral section. This is actually one very special mechanic that you might not even know about here so pay close attention. Right as you are entering the spiral, obviously you are going to have to drift boost to the right side 3 times. Right when you are able to see the speed pad, this is where the spiral actually gets much more tighter. What I love to do every time here is to ignore the boost pad and then immediately start U-turning and hopping to the right side while sticking as close as I can to the wall here. You can actually see that I'm actually ramming into the wall, but the game physics doesn't actually stop me. You can take this advantage in hugging the wall as close as you can. It is much faster than taking the turbo pad. Right beside the turbo pad, start boosting again and obviously take the right side of the blue fire jump. Right as you land, do the following. Drift boost twice here to the right side, take the jump here and then land on the right side here. This will give you a very nice setup to do a 3 boost to the left side. Right about over here, your 3 boost should be already done. Immediately jump but don't drift boost here as it is too tight. Instead, stick to the left side here and you turn twice to the left. Right about here, drift as much as you can in preparation for the next shortcut. Right when you are underneath of the track here, start drifting to the right side now. Time your boost so that as soon as you reach to about this part here, all of your 3 boosts should be done. You are now ready to take the jump. Jump around here and then navigate your way through the cloud. If you are feeling confident, you can stay at the right side a little bit more. Just make sure you know what you're doing. Once you're on the other side of the cloud shortcut, you can U-turn to the right just to adjust yourself if you need to. On the straight pathway, you will want to jump here and then land on the right side and then drift boost to the left. Try to keep your cart on the left side as much as you can as shown as what I'm doing here. Right on the boost pad, take the jump on the left and then do what I do, which is to drift to the right once and then drift to the left once. Again, you don't have to follow exactly, I'm just showing you what I do. And of course, this is where you will want to jump and then you turn to the other side. You will probably land on the far right side of the opposite track. So just do what I do here and just jump to balance yourself up and then immediately drift boost all the way to the finish line. Congratulations, you are now in lap 2. But I must say, I personally find the starting part of the track the hardest to actually maintain blue fire on. So you might want to follow what I do here. I'll let you see what I did in lap 3 instead as it is probably the best example of what to do. Proceed to drift boost as much as you can to build up that reserve, you're gonna need it. And once you reach to the first bump here, this is where you are going to start doing things differently from lap 1. By now you probably have a massive amount of reserves. Take the jump on the first bump and then once you land on the other bump, 
do not drift boost like the first lap. Instead, do another jump and then immediately head to the right side and then try to jump over this part of the track here. Careful not to mess this up. After that, proceed forward while hopping and then jump on this corner here while you turning to the left side this time. Your reserves are probably going to run out anytime soon now, so I want you to immediately drift boost the moment you land from here. Drift for a total of 3 times and you probably can already see the turbo pad here. This means that you are at the sharpest part of the spiral and now you can start U-turning all the way down. And then take the boost pad, head to the right side and the rest of the track is rinse and repeat. Also, I do want to note that this method will not give you world record times. But if you follow accordingly, you will be able to at least beat the death times. And that's pretty much it about Hot Air Skyway. Honestly, I would say that maintaining your blue fire in lap 2 and 3 at the start of the track is probably the hardest roadblock for many others. I wish you all the best and if you have any questions, remember to leave them down below. And hey, want to support the channel, you can do it by simply clicking on the subscribe button below. It does offer great help to me and I look forward to entertain you with more videos. Coming up next, the death times guide will be on prehistoric playground and then Cortex Castle after that. So for all of you Cortex Castle strugglers, this will be good news for you. That is all for the guide on Hot Air Skyway. I will leave a full example gameplay here just in case you need more help. This is the Vibrant signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and enjoy the gameplay.